Ted Bundy was born on November 24, 1946 in Burlington, Vermont, and grew up to be a charming and intelligent young man. However, by the time he was a teenager living in Washington, Bundy already exhibited signs of a sadistic serial killer he would become. In interviews, he recalled being antisocial and wandering the the streets looking for discarded pornography or open windows through which he would spy, could spy on unsuspecting women. He also had an extensive juvenile record for theft that was dismissed when he was when he turned 18. By 1972, he had graduated college and showed great promise in a career in law or politics. That career would be cut short, though, when he discovered his true passion. Um, assaulting, let's see, viciously assaulting his earliest confirmed victim in 1974. He tended to prey on young, attractive college women, first near his home in Washington and then moving east to Utah and Colorado and finally in Florida. Bundy would prey on these women with a ruse, often wearing his arm in a sling or his leg in a fake cast or walking on crutches. He would then use his charm and fake the disability to convince his victims to help him carry books or unload objects from his car. He was also known to impersonate authority figures such as police officers and firefighters to gain victims' trust before he attacked them. Once they got into his 1968 tan Volkswagen Beetle, he would strike them over the head with a crowbar or a pipe. Um, after hitting his victims, he would immobilize them with handcuffs and force them into the vehicle. Bundy had removed the passenger seat and often stored it in the, in the back seat or the trunk, leaving a large empty space on the floor for his victim to lie out of sight as he drove away. Bundy was able to rape and murder scores of women this way. He typically strangled and bludgeoned his victims as well as manipulating them as mm, doing something to them after they were deceased. He then prolonged the events by returning to the to visit the corpses at their dump sites or even taking them home in order to gain further sexual gratification oh my lord in some cases he even shockingly displayed their capita- decapitated heads in his apartment and slept with their corpses oh jesus Okay, that's beyond sick. Um, until he was satisfied. Uh, as the body count rose and witness descriptions spread, several people contacted authorities to report Bundy as a potential as potentially matching suspect. However, police consist- consistently ruled him out because out based on his seemingly outstanding character and clean cut appearance. You don't look at that first. They might look okay on the outside, but they could be a psychopath on the inside. Um he was able to avoid detection even longer by learning how to leave eventually no uh, virtually no evidence. Um, that could be traced by the steel um, forensic techniques in the 1970s. Bundy was finally arrested for the first time on August, ni- August 16, 1975, in Utah after fleeing from a patrol car. The search of the vehicle yielded masks, handcuffs, rope, and nefarious items 
but nothing definitively leaking him to the crimes. He was released, but remained under constant surveillance until he was arrested again for kidnapping and assault of one of his victims several months later. Bundy escaped custody a year later after being transferred to Utah from Colorado for another trial that was recaptured within a week. He then managed to escape a second time on December 30, 1977, at which point he was able to reach Florida and resume his killing spree. He raped and murdered at least six more victims. Five of, five of them were Florida State University students before he was apprehended again for uh, a traffic violation on February the 15th, 1978. He was finally sentenced to death and died in an electric chair on January 24, 1989. At the time of his ex execution, Bundy had confessed to 30 murders, although the total number of his victims remains unknown.